So can Cardiff upset the team from Cape Town? To date, everybody was raving about the home ground advantage that South African franchises will be enjoying. But will Cardiff be able to upset this home ground advantage party that everybody is jiving to? So let's see. So let's start off by looking at the stats between the Stormers and Cardiff. So currently the Stormers is lying at 8th place and Cardiff is finding themselves at 13th place on the log. Points wise, the Stormers has more points than Cardiff. The Stormers is currently sitting at 261 points. Cardiff is at 189 points. The tries, the Stormers have a ton of tries compared to Cardiff. At 36 tries for the Stormers and Cardiff only scored to date in this tournament 20 tries. Points conceded, the Stormers conceded 217 points. Cardiff conceded 260 points. The Storms obviously defensive, defensively, they are a bit more stronger than Cardiff um, due to them conceding less points than Cardiff. Clean breaks, the Storms have 77 clean breaks, Cardiff 41 clean breaks. Offloads, the Storms have a better offload game at uh, 120 offloads to Cardiff 88 offloads. Tackle success, the Storms have a 88% tackle success, Cardiff 87%. Scrum success, Stormers 89% success. Uh, Cardiff surprisingly have a better Scrum success at 94%. Line out success, Stormers 89%. Cardiff 90%. Line out success, turnovers won. The Stormers won uh, 66 turnovers and Cardiff has won 66 turnovers as well. Turnovers lost, the Stormers surprisingly lost more turnovers than Cardiff. But the Stormers losing 159 turnovers versus Cardiff losing 114 turnovers. And I think that is probably an issue with the current South African teams losing more turnovers at the breakdown. I don't know what the issue is, but it's something that the South African franchises have to look at. It could be the interpretation of the of the of the rug ball um, between the, the 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 African franchises understanding. Of, of the breakdown. I think that could be it, but it's actually a very interesting observation to see that the American sides are losing more turnovers compared to the European teams. Very interesting. So guys, if you're still here on this video, don't go away. I have a surprise for you guys at the end of this video, so stick around. So players to watch out for. Let's start with the Stormers. So players to watch out for. I will start with Mr. Irfan Ruiz. Now this guy is one of the future stars for the Springboks. Um, the Stormers were very fortunate to have him signing extension to the franchise. But this guy will soon become a Springbok. The other player I'd like to mention is Warwick Galant. Absolute star. This guy can turn a game on his head, world class. He's one of he's one of, of, of a handful of players out there that you can see is is, is on a world class level. So Wally Galant, happy to have him in the team, even though he'll be leaving the Stormer soon to take up a contract in France. Sabello so Sanatla, this guy, he was a seven star, he left sevens. And I think he left Sevens in order for him to crack it and to play for a spot at the 2019 World Cup. It didn't happen for him. Um, unfortunately for him, the Springboks are stopped with very good wingers at the moment. But Sanatla is a, is a winger, a very good winger on, in his own right. A little bit maybe sus suspect on defense, but attacking-wise and speed-wise, he's, he's up there. Then we have the last one for the Stormers to look out for is the captain, uh, Steven Kutsov. Um, he's been off last week due to player management, but he's back in the team. So it will be exciting to see what he offers at the sc at scrum time for the Stormers. For Cardiff. Now the players that I actually wanted to look out for for Cardiff are actually players that returned to Wales due to injury. 
it's very unfortunate for Cardiff that guys like Owen Lane, um, Shane Lewis, Hughes, and Alfred Summerhill, Summer, Summer they actually had to, had to return back to Wales due to injury. So that's very unfortunate for, for Cardiff that they, that they lost, basically they're losing very, very good players, experienced players. Yeah, so it is what it is. So the weather on Sunday will be a nice and hot 37 degrees. Clear skies, therefore no rain will be expected. So this will be a game that will be a running affair. It will be excite exciting for, for the fans to watch. Then finally, my prediction for this game. Now the Stormers, they are... Something is brewing and something is cooking at the Stormers. Which, which is very encouraging. Um, the fact that Cardiff lost four of the frontline, frontline players due to injury and they had to return to Wales. My prediction for this game is for the Stormers to win this game by 15 points. The Stormers will win by 15 points. Yeah, so guys, if you are still here, thank you for being here in this video. So... I would like to offer two of my subscribers tickets to the Rugby World Cup 7s that will be held in Cape Town in September this year. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you stand a very good chance to win two tickets to the Rugby World Cup 7s. If you are not subscribed, click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Then you will stand a very good chance to win these tickets. I want to give these tickets away as a token of appreciation for people being subscribed to my channel. Then guys, um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and um, comment in the comment section. Do you agree with my analysis? Don't you agree with my analysis? And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Mm -hmm.